the distributive property or the distributive property of multiplication over addition and subtraction simplifies and solves expressions in the form of these two a you can see that a parentheses b plus c equals to so here you can just imagine that after a is a multiplication so it's multiplication over addition and subtraction a times a plus b uh, b plus c so it is a times b plus c or it is another way a b minus c so a times b minus c or a times b plus c and to simplify these we multiply a by b first so we get a b then we multiply a by c then we get a c let's take a look at these examples here we have 3 times parentheses 3 plus 2x. So we can multiply 3 times 3, it is 9. Plus 3 times, this time, 2x. The plus sign is here. So we write the plus, whatever sign that you have here, we put it there. So it is 3 times 2x is 6x. So if you write it in standard form, 6x plus 9 is the answer. In a standard form, we write the variable first. Let's take a look at the next one. Here we have 4 times 6, it is 24. And then we have the sign plus. 4 times, the next one is 4 times 6x, it is 24x. In a standard form, we write 24x first plus 24. So 24x plus 24 is the answer. Next one. 3 times 4x is 12x. Now here we have the sign negative or minus. We put minus. 3 times 7 is 21. So the answer is 12x minus 21. Next one. Here, negative 3 this parenthesis is here, it doesn't matter. You can write this one here or there. So you can just write negative three times five X minus three and then multiply it by negative three times five X. It is negative 15 X and negative three times negative three is plus nine. Next one, negative 4x times x, it is negative 4x squared. Negative 4x times 6, it is negative 24x. Next one, 6 is here, you can just write a 6. Then in a standard form, we write 3x first. It doesn't matter, 3x plus 3 is the same thing as 3 plus 3x. Now 6 times 3x is 18x. 6 times 3 is 18. 